every time we step in here to save a life, we are exposing ourselves to potential harmful effects of ionizing radiation. We are the uh, occupation that is exposed to the highest amount of radiation. The only other occupation that even comes close is people who work in nuclear power plants. Radiation was not a priority. Uh, you know, I know myself uh, didn't wear a badge for more time than, than I probably should admit. The history of radiology begins with Conrad Rankin. As soon as he developed that film, it became an international phenomenon. Because you couldn't see it, feel it, uh, or really be aware of it. Um, didn't fully understand its potentially damaging effects. Any radiation is bad, and you don't know how your body's gonna to respond to it, and the effects of that radiation could come out later in life. I, I think I felt this radiation cannot hurt me. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2021. The most um, at-risk person when it comes to radiation are young females. I am concerned that they're putting their unborn child at risk. It is a controversial subject um, and not, not totally proven that people that have been exposed to x-rays had developed cancer. It's just not known yet. We're doing the experiment right now. I want you to think about um, why the left side of the body is so important. When you look at interventional cardiologists with brain cancer, that over eight out of 10 of those brain cancers are gonna be on the left side. I don't, I don't have any hair at all here. It's, it's just on one side. side. It's just on the one side. 90 to 92% of all my skin cancers were on the left side of my body. We're really limited in the data that we're relying on. There's another type of exposure uh, that we face. It's wearing these lead aprons. Rupture desk completely paralyzed right leg, muscle wasting, foot dry. My right leg was paralyzed. Uh, I couldn't walk for over a month. Yesterday was my last day in the OBL, so you know, no more outpatient procedures. It takes people, and these people have lives, and these people have families, and these people have a future. That passion has damaged my body to the point that now I can't even enjoy the fruits of the labor. I would like to say we know uh, everything there is about radiation exposure and the effects on human tissue, uh, but I don't believe we know nearly enough.